is Betty, and I'll be talking about how to configure eLab orders. Today, we'll be covering how to configure an eLab order and how to add lab order codes for eLab vendors. Open the lab configuration tool from the configuration menu. You will already be familiar with the lab configuration tool where you have previously added tests and created labs. Just as a reminder, permission to access the lab configuration tool is configured under user administration in roles. You will need to scroll to the right in order to see additional information about the lab order, including whether or not the lab order is configured for an electronic results interface with a third party vendor such as Quest or LabCorp. When you scroll to the right, you will see which labs are configured as eLabs. This is also a great way to easily see which lab orders are missing eLab vendor codes. Labs configured as eLabs are indicated with a green check mark under the column for the eLab vendor. Here we can see that several of these labs have been configured for Quest. We can double click to open a lab order or select it and click the edit button. If your practice receives results for this lab order electronically from a hospital or third party vendor, you can add their specific lab order code to this lab order. To be sure that you match up your lab order with your hospital or third party vendor lab, use the lab order code which is found either on the lab requisition form or the vendor's website. You can type the lab order code into this field to search for it and select it. Each lab vendor has a unique list of lab order codes and some vendors may create unique code numbers for your practice. If you can't find the order code you need, you can also contact your vendor representative. When you link your eLab order to a third party vendor's unique lab test, PCC EHR will be able to correctly associate and track the eLab results with the order in the patient's chart. You can also configure a single lab order for multiple eLab vendors. Click on the Lab Facilities tab of the Lab Configuration tool to review your office's lab facilities. If you want to use an eLab vendor, they need to be listed under Lab Facilities. You want to make sure you have included complete information for your eLab vendor. Double click to open your eLab facility or select it and click the edit button. You must select a vendor in the eLab vendor field in order for this lab facility to work as an eLab. Include the complete address of the eLab location so that future lab reports will include the complete facility address. These details will show up on lab results shared in the patient's portal. Future lab codes for your labs will be added to the EHR as the results come into the EHR. If you need to order a lab and you do not have the lab vendor's order code, go ahead and place the order for the lab. Once the results have come in, open the results and click on the Result Details tab. You will see the lab order code after the order name in parentheses, 57021-8. In this case, it is numbers. This could be letters or a combination of numbers and letters. This is the code that you will need to add to your lab configuration for the lab order. And that concludes our training.